Okay, uh, hi everyone. I'm Kyoko of Silk University. Uh, we've been developing um, this uh, glycomics portal okay, for um, uh, semantically linking glycoscience data. So just to give a, a, a kind of an overview of glycomics, on the cell surface, you know, the glycans are uh, decorating the proteins and lipids on the cell surface and are used as um, recognition uh, com com compounds uh, by lectins and viruses and bacteria. And it's been known that there's a wide variety of glycans, um, so we've been trying to organize all of that uh, into a repository for the past three years uh, under, as the glycan. But we're also, um, don't have to, can't forget the, that this extracellular matrix also has many, many different types of polysaccharides uh, which are also involved. <clears throat> So uh, in 2012, the National Academy of Sciences in the U.S. published this roadmap, uh, Transforming Glycoscience. Uh, and uh, this year, the, J the Japanese Society for Carbohydrate uh, Research, or Glycoscience Community, has also published a roadmap, um, which will be published soon in, in, under Springer. But in this roadmap, it really emphasizes that glycoscience is not only involved in, in medicine, but also has applications in agriculture, environment, and energy. And so I'm, my goal is to try to integrate all this information uh, that's related to the glycosciences. So we, this past year and a half, I guess, we've been developing this glycoscience portal called Glycosmos. And uh, it consists of standards, repositories, and data resources, which I'll try to go through really quickly. Uh, the beta version was released in October. Uh, we have the resources up here uh, and the standards in the bottom. The standards includes GlycoRDF, uh, which we developed many years ago in, in the biohackathon. Uh, the string representation for, like, for carbohydrates <coughs> called WORKS. <coughs> and um, uh, there's a new glycoconjugate ontology called GlycoCU. Uh, I'm just going to skip, we don't have enough time for this. Okay, so GlycoCU and uh, uh, it has all been developed. We're going to try to publish GlycoCU uh, at this biohackathon. Uh, and then we have repository, Glytucan repository. Um, it is actual, it's the only system uh, now that's been recognized to be the main system, system for glycans, or carbohydrates, uh, sugar chains, and to uh, assign accession numbers to them. Uh, and then we are developing this glycoconjugate repository called Glycom, and uh, we ha also have this glycopost repository for mass spec data. So uh, Glytucan uh, is the system for registering glycans and glycan ID. And it's been used was, uh, and eventually shared with different databases uh, using this ID, which makes it much easier to share a glycomics, a glycan structure data, um, which are very complex molecule. Uh, we all, we've also been contacted by the ISO um, to the, bio, the biologics as uh, using glycans um, there as well, so they want to use the glycan IDs. Uh, Glycome is under um, it, uh, development, but uh, it's a system to, that we're planning to assign IDs to glycoproteins and glycolipids uh, any other, and any other glycomolecules. Uh, and then the GlycoPost uh, repository has just been released last month. It provides a web user-friendly user um, application to um, up upload mass spec raw data and metadata uh, regarding glyco glycomics data as well as glycoprotein data. The data resources, very quickly, uh, we have the links to the glycogenes, genes and glycosotransferases. So we get, have information about what, what glycan uh, gets created from what en which enzyme and with all the um, orthologs. Uh, glycoproteins, the proteins that have glycans on them, the, the pro there's um, the glyc glycosylation sites, and oftentimes there's multiple glycans that are found at the same site, so we have abundances. So you can specify how much of which glycan is found at which site. It's still under, under construction. Uh, and we have a total glycome database, uh, which is, uh, gives you a, a view of what kind of glycans are, which, which tissues in which uh, organism. And then uh, most recently, we've been adding um, glycan-related uh, pathways from the reactome RDF data. Uh, so you can go through and uh, display uh, pathways. It's all from RDF, so it's automatically generated um, from the RDF data, uh, but we eventually we're adding our own glycan synthesis pathways as well to, just, to actually show the glycans on the pathways and, and um, applying it to glyco or systems for biology research. And we have a glyco disease genes database as well. So um, there are many many um, 
uh, resources that we have, uh, try to make develop the foundation for them to integrate them using Semantic Web. Uh, thanks to Sparkle List, it's been really easy to um, to to show to display this data uh, uh, on the web uh, and to um, in integrate them with other data resources. And at this biohackathon, well, first of all, we want to publish this this ontology um, for glycoconjugates, conjugates, but also. Uh, we really want to link with other related resources, including microbial and agricultural resources. Uh, we don't have anything about plants yet, uh, as well as um, expression data, regulatory elements for the glycogenes, and disease-related disease resources. Okay, and that's it. Thanks. Thank you.